bouncing, Gary. You see yourself coming off the gallop. We couldn't be happier with him. But this season, he's been great. He's just been a different horse. He's finishing his race out better, and he's, he, he looks better. He's just so big. He could have been just weak and watery, you know. Um, but uh, listen, we couldn't be happier. This year, he's four great races won for us. So uh, we're looking forward to Cheltenham, you know. Seems to have really bounced out of that race at Thurl as well, has he? Yeah. We've seen good signs at home since. Yeah, we haven't done much work with him, but it just can't turn away. Like he's, he's coming on and off the gallop in great order, and he's eating great and doing everything right, so uh, we could be happier, to be honest. Touch wood, ordinarily, he's an excellent jumper of fences. Is there any worry in your mind about what happened to Cheltenham last year? No, no definitely not. Uh, Brian Cooper will know him a lot better now this year. Um, no, I wouldn't be worried at all. Yeah, and he's towards the forefront of the market now, obviously, for the Ryanair. Do you think he's earned his place there? Yeah, listen, it's a, it'll be a good race. Obviously, um, David Pipes, the Nass, will be uh, the one I'd be afraid of. So if I don't win it, I hope he does. And I'm sure he thinks the same, but it'll be uh, it'll be nice to win the race for the sponsor, wouldn't it? Have you spoken to David about it at all yet? No, we haven't said much at the moment. We'll, we'll wait a couple of days before and see how we get on, you know. Gentleman, so he's, you know, you have to love everything about him, the way he travels and jumps. And um, Obviously, he won a great one for us this year, and he was travelling very well in the Fred Winter when he came down last year. Um, but, listen, he, he didn't run a bad race the last day against Under Sue. I think Under Sue is just a very, very special horse. But um, we know he's been to Cheltenham and he handles the track. So uh, we're going to run him in the arc and we'll take our chance. I mean, if your man stands up, he looks unbeatable, but uh, there's no way being afraid of one horse, you know. That's the thing. I mean, to be fair, earlier on in the season, when you ran against Votour at Christmas, you were saying never be afraid of one horse, and it worked out well that day, didn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, look, at it. if you were to... Listen to everyone, you wouldn't bother running any of your horses, you know. But um, he's in good form and he came out of the race very well, so we'll go straight to Cheltenham now. And listen, if he, if he can get placed, it would be brilliant. And if something was to happen to one of the other favourites, you never know what would happen. But if you're not in, you can't win. That's the thing, Undersau is the clear standout in the race, but you'd be entitled to fancy your chances of beating the rest of them, wouldn't you? Look, to be honest, I, if he runs the race around the last day or the race he ran in uh, Leprous and the time before, he has to have a match of each way a chance. Like, we, we kind of followed Ruby the last day from the second last of the turning and probably shot ourselves in the foot. We just got tired of him from the last home but listen, on the Sioux if he turns up he's a he's different class but we'll take our chance.